Due to the current high demand of face masks in hospitals because of COVID-19, it may be hard for you or your family to find face masks. So here's a simple tutorial of how to make your own face mask. The materials that you need are fabric, preferably quilting fabric or cotton, a quarter inch wide elastic about six and a half inches long. You'll also need a pipe cleaner, pins, scissors, and a threaded sewing machine or a needle and thread if you prefer hand sewing. You can find the sewing pattern for the masks on this page of the Joan Fabrics website, as well as other resources for making these masks. On this page, if you scroll down, click on Face Mask Sewing Pattern, which will take you to a website that has these face mask templates that you can print out in various sizes that you can use to make your masks. There is a main fabric template and a lining fabric template that you'll need both of. Once you've cut out the fabric from these templates, put the two main fabric pieces face to face so that the wrong side is facing out and sew along the longest side of the fabric and then do the same with the two lining fabric pieces. Then make sure that the elastic is cut to a good length so that it will fit well going around your ear and then make sure that you have two equal pieces. Place the main fabric facing up and create a loop with the elastic on each side of the mask. And then place the lining fabric face down on top. Then pin the fabric where the edges of the elastic are in between the fabric so that they will stay in place while sewing. And then attach the two pieces of fabric together with more pins going all the way around. Then sew together all the way around the two pieces of fabric, including going over the elastic, making sure that you're leaving a few inches unsewn for a hole so that you can later turn it inside out. After sewing all the pieces together, take out all the pins. Once you've taken out all the pins from the mask, turn it inside out completely. Measure a pipe cleaner against the mask and bend it at the point of the mask. Leave around an inch or two of the pipe cleaner on each side of the bend and cut off the excess, folding over the pointy edges. Place the pipe cleaner inside the mask through the hole and place it in the tip of the mask where the bridge of the nose would be. Sew the ends of the pipe cleaner in place and then sew up the hole you used to turn the mask inside out. Sew all the way around the mask once more in order to make it more sturdy, making it about a quarter inch away from the edge of the mask. Cut off any pieces of thread sticking out of the mask once you're done sewing. And you're done. This is Scott Center News, I'm Anna Cassidy.